All right, guys, we're here today to talk about how injuries can set you back after months and months of hard work. That's where we really want to focus in on today is this is our last video. One, we want to talk about how the increase in athleticism I will decrease injuries. That's probably the most important thing, using full range motion, functional movements, full squats, clean and jerks, snatches, all of those combined together is what we call CrossFit, and that is the other element that we use to help develop our speed and agility. We reduce athletes' injuries by increasing their athleticism. The way we do that is we'll start with injury prevention drills, such as mini band drills, working on their glutes, their quads, their VMOs. We'll do 3D motion drills, putting the athlete into three different planes of motion. Uh, we'll increase their strength by doing front squats, back squats, overhead squats. Um, we'll challenge them through metabolic conditioning that has rounds for times or just a big long chipper of 100 box jumps, 100 calories, 100 shoulder overhead, some sort of combination of all of our movements to force the athlete to push themselves to their maximum potential. To help our athletes reach their maximum potential, we take them through short, medium, and long metabolic pathways. In that, it's going to help them to be able to perform their entire contest at 92% of maximum effort. Whereas a lot of times opponents come out at 100%, wear themselves out, and by that third or fourth quarter, they're tired. Where our athlete will hopefully continue to be performing that 92 to 95% uh, because we've trained that way. And then at the end of the game is when we will have the greatest advantage, and that's when the games are always won at the end. 